Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we got Nightwish, Lantern Light. We're smoking all my dragons. Divine Righteous Almighty, greats over achieving, never slacking. I ain't wasting no time. We getting right to it. Original link in the description. Here we go. Nightwish, Lantern Light. Turn light. 
One thing about Nightwish is if you come and you watch a Nightwish music video or you listen to a Nightwish song, you better come with the right side of your brain wide open, which they say is the creative, artistic, intuitive side. You better not come with too much left brain activity trying to put logic on it. You better be able to feel because they're, they come with straight art. Now, right here it says, you know, Nightwish releases music video for Lantern Light, uh, a, love, a love song reaching for the timeless, a music to immortalize the memories of those dearest to us, which makes sense because when she was pretty much saying like, I am the snow in your palm, I forgot if she said hand or palm, but, you know, um, just pretty much saying you can find me in everything. So that would that would definitely make sense. Uh, let me read some more into it. I want to hear what they, what Nightwish really had to say about it. Let's see. It get hard on the articles because they'll put so much in there you won't even like. Okay, let me back up out of this. Let me find. Let me go somewhere else. Okay. Somehow I ended up on YouTube. That's okay. Okay, so. Not, okay. Someone said, after listening to Lantern Light, I immediately felt that it belonged with endlessness. It has the same uh, motifs about death and passing away to become one with the world, other universe, and that begun to make me think. So pretty much what I picked up off of it too like you know you become one with everything um to put my my own spin on it it actually reminds me of this movie called if you ever seen lovely bones where this young teenage girl she was stalked but actually i think uh, mark mark Wahlberg plays the father this young girl she was stalked by this serial killer who he kills her and she her her um she's pretty much her spirits pretty much running around and um what you could call the astral plane or, you know, kind of like this purgatory state. And her dad looks in this candle, which, you know, candles, I mean, the flame of a candle is known to be like a doorbell to the spirit realm. So he looks in it and he just, for a split moment, he sees his daughter like reaching out at him through the candle. So it's almost like that, that, that lantern light. It just, even though that's not a lantern, but it just that, that light being symbolic, you know, for, for being like a, a doorbell in a sense, uh, and just becoming one with everything, um, after you leave. So like that, that definitely goes, like, I could see that going hand in hand right there. Uh, Nightwish, like I said, if you, if you tune in in a Nightwish, you truly have to have your, your, um, your right brain just completely wide open. You cannot come trying to break, uh, Nightwish down with a whole bunch of logic and no, 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 no. Someone said, most beautiful and saddest song I've heard in a long time. Floor sounds so emotional and wonderful here. This song broke me. But honestly, 
you know, uh, it it's it's beautiful, you know. But she, you know, this person did say beautiful and saddest song they've heard in a long time. But I took so much more beauty out of that, and that's because I guess I'm already I already look at death as a rebirth. Um, if we're gonna go in that, if we're gonna focus on that, I look at death as a rebirth. You know, we're going into the season of death here in America, which is why you got Day of the Dead things like that all through October, early November. Um, it's I don't look at it from the pers perspective of like sad, scary. Obviously, it can be sad anytime you someone you know leaves, but I just have such a different perspective, and I've worked with that energy for so long that I see the beauty in it more than I, more than I see the sadness, if that makes sense. Um, someone else said, I honestly think that this is the saddest song they have ever made, especially knowing Tuomo's, okay, it makes sense. Someone's dad died. It really made me cry. That never happened to me before with Nightwish. I know that they are completely different bands, but it reminded me to, uh, to tool wings for Marie. This type of song that no one wants to relate to because of the pain of losing someone you love. But you know that eventually you will and it makes it even sadder. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to recommend. See, I didn't know that that backstory. But I'm going to recommend that movie Lovely Bones to everybody watching. Watch that movie if you haven't seen it. With Mark Wahlberg. And um, yeah. And, and then think about this. And then go back and watch this music video. And you'll just kind of see the connection and a comparison and why I'm comparing that. Um, it just, it definitely goes hand in hand for sure. But with that being said, that was another masterpiece from Nightwish. Um, I love Nightwish. Their art. You know, this is why I have a whole, if you're new to the channel, I have a whole Nightwish playlist because uh, they're they're different in a, in a very unique way. You really have to open your heart to really receive the message. And that's what I appreciate most about them. So with that being said, Nightwish Lantern Light official music video was um what's the perfect word for it? It was it was art it was art. It was art and it was a lesson. It was a lesson if you listen in close enough. So with that being said, I'll see y'all soon. Much love.